Every night, 811 million people go to bed hungry and already 38 countries are on the brink of starvation. We live in times of instability, pandemics, economic crises, climate disasters, military conflicts. They put millions more people on the brink of starvation. Are you sure you won't be among them? In the consumerist format, no one is secure against starvation these days. But it is such an absurdity. Why? Let's take a look at the technology that already exists. One of them is vertical farms. They have great advantages compared to conventional farms. They produce 300 times more food and up to 30 yields a year. They consume 95% less water and 80% less soil. They make it possible to grow various crops all year round without using pesticides. They don't depend on weather or location and require minimal logistics costs. Harvesting is possible even in Antarctica. Aquaponics. It allows simultaneous breeding of fish and cultivation of vegetables in a single closed cycle. Fish waste fertilizes plants, speeding up their growth by 40%. It is environmentally friendly and can operate in a virtually waste-free way without polluting water bodies. It doesn't involve pesticides and consumes 10 times less water. Yields from 1,000 square meters of land by this method equal to yields from 2 hectares of fields and 20 hectares of ponds. It can be applied in the tropics or an arid desert and even on the roof of a skyscraper. Humanity has already learned to print food on a 3D printer and to grow fish and chicken meat from cells. Even food made of air is no longer science fiction. A Finnish company is building a factory to produce flour from air and has won the first stage in a competition to provide food for space missions to other planets. We have shown only a few examples of technology, but even they can already resolve the problem of hunger once and for all. Development and introduction of such technologies in the infrastructure of cities will provide people with food everywhere, regardless of crises and disasters. It will make the process of growing food products independent of climate, weather, location, soil fertility, or even logistics. In consumer society, hunger is a prospect for everyone. In the creative society, not a single person in any country of the world will go to bed hungry. It will be up to us, people, to jointly decide which scientific discoveries to implement first, while openness and transparency of information in the creative society will make it possible to ensure reliable control over implementation of our decisions. We really want to live in the creative society. And what about you?